What's going on guys? Flame here back with a brand new video for you guys. And today in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Lily Go TM bed that comes with the ESP32. It's sort of kind of like the Flipper Zero. It has a lot of the same features as the Flipper and it has a lot of the same features as the M5 stick right here. It comes with sub gigahertz, NFC, IR, and it has a bunch of other features. We're just gonna check them out. Let's see, we have some stickers. And we have the actual device itself right here. I peeled the sticker off to try it out a little bit. We're gonna get the device to boot. And once the device boots, you can unplug it after that. Cause you can see the device is on 100% if it'll focus. So it has a scroll wheel dial right here. You can scroll through all your settings. It has sub gigahertz, like I mentioned before. This is just the, the demo right here. So we're gonna be flashing Bruce firmware on this in a bit though. But we can send signals, I guess. Send and receive. It just sends random signals. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back. We have, this is for the color of the dial right here, the light. This is NFC for reading cards. I think the sensor is on the bottom, the module. Battery, uh, I haven't checked the screen out. Yeah, just give you uh, stats on the battery. We have Wi-Fi. I haven't been to this screen yet, actually. You can configure your Wi-Fi. I haven't done that yet. We're gonna do that once we get to Bruce. We have music, infrared, and we also have settings. And this is where I said you can put it, your device in deep sleep. You can also shut down the device here as well. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is load up Bruce and we're gonna go ahead and try to get this flashed. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the Bruce web flasher and then you're gonna go ahead and go to latest release select LilyGo, and you're gonna make sure that you select LilyGo T-Embed CC1101 because that's the one we're using right now. They have the regular T-Embed without CC1101. So if you have the CC1101 module, press this one. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in while holding down this middle button. That is the boot button. So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, I think that was the issue. You have to keep the button held down. It says installing right now. Erasing, I don't know if we can take our finger. Okay, I think we can take the finger off the button now. Because it says this will take two minutes. All right, wrapping up. Installation complete. I'm pretty sure I figured out what you have to do now. So you have to take apart the the back is just magnetic with these neodymium magnets. They stick to the back of this. And you remove the battery, be careful, don't break any wires. It has some sticky stuff on it to keep it in place. And there's an RST button, which stands for reset. You'll press that and you'll be able to boot into Bruce. So right now we don't have anything on the screen. Nothing is booting up, nothing's working. We're gonna go ahead and press reset. There we go, I heard something on my PC. And now we're booting into Bruce. We're gonna be careful. We're just gonna pop the back back on. All right, and there we go. I wonder if the power button works while we're in here. Hmm, it does not, interesting. That's honestly my main, my main thing about it. We're gonna connect. And we're connecting to my network right now. Right there, there we go. We're connected to the internet. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out this RF. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up my flipper. Scan slash copy. And there we go, we received it. Boom, and we can replay. And let's read raw. Let's configure to that frequency 433.92 replay. Wow, that's pretty cool. The signal's not that strong, but that's pretty nice. That's that's pretty cool. That Let's try RFID now. So we're gonna go ahead and emulate a card from my flipper. And we're gonna hold it to the bottom of the device. And there we go. It tells us the type and it gives us a bunch of data, the UID, 
So we could clone that UID if we wanted to, to another card. Oh yeah, we have the back. Okay, this is a back button at the top. There we go. And we have IR as well. So let's try IR read. And we're gonna go ahead and reset this and capture the on signal. And we're gonna go to next. Well, I didn't actually wanna save that. Okay, but I guess we have the signal now. We can go to files, little fs. Okay, it didn't save it to little fs. I think it saved it to SD card. Fail mounting SD card. There is no SD card. Okay, we could add one. Alrighty guys, that was a quick overview of the Lily Go T Embed CC1101 and installing the Bruce firmware and just checking out some of the features that it has. I know I didn't check out any of the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth things, but we all know how that works. We've seen it a million times. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more fun. This has been Flame and I'm out. Peace guys. Bye-bye.